So one of Jesus' most famous stories is the story of the Good Samaritan, and, and you're probably familiar with it, right? Uh, when talking about what it means to love your neighbor, he told this story about uh, a man, Jewish man, who was uh, on a journey between Jerusalem and Jericho, and was ambushed by robbers and beaten and left for dead, and, and two religious leaders, uh, separately, each pass by and, and don't do anything to help the fella. But then a, a Samaritan who would have been a political enemy, a religious enemy, there would have been uh, racial elements involved and such, but, uh, but he stops. He stops and helps a guy who normally he would just have no respect what the guy stood for. Um, probably had felt animosity from people like him before, but he stops. He helps. Uh, he address, dresses the wounds and uh, loads the guy on his own animal and takes him to the nearest city in order to address his wounds and, um, and help the guy get better. And that's what it means to, to love your neighbor, Jesus says. And so I was just thinking in our, our current climate, perhaps as we think about what it means to love, maybe we should take some time to, to reach out to people who actually think quite differently than we do. Some of the folks that we have the most trouble with are people who think about things differently politically, uh, who maybe think about our current situation quite differently than we do. And, and, uh, and sometimes it just really irks us, right? But perhaps as Jesus is forming us, part of his formation is for us to learn how to love those people well, how to stop, how to take time out, because that guy did, and uh, to go out of our way to, uh, to do something that really blesses someone who maybe we even think doesn't like us much. Jesus did say, love your enemies. And we do follow one who died for sinners. It's possible with the power of the Spirit that He's given us in His grace to us.